welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rochelle. I'm a remote worker currently traveling and working in Colombia. Today's vlog is gonna be super cool. We're actually heading from where we're staying at the moment in Gethsemane all the way to see the Pink Sea and the Mud Volcano. I'm super excited. We've got our bags packed. I'll see you guys on the way. Unlike the reviews we read online, we decided to take an Uber to the Pink Sea. Our journey cost us £32 in total because the Uber was 80,000 pesos each way. The taxi coited us 400,000 pesos for a round trip, which was £80. Nuh uh. You can, however, take a bus, but please note you are going to be stopping in lots of little villages and towns along the way. So while it might be cost effective, it might not necessarily be time effective. We were quite silly to think that when we got to the Pink Sea, after we'd done, we'd be able to order a taxi to the Mod Volcano. This location is completely remote, so we ended up making a deal with our taxi driver to stay with us and we would pay him privately for the whole day. I recommend doing a similar arrangement. This location is completely remote. In fact, we actually had to ask for directions a couple of times. Due to the lack of visitors and COVID, the tourist entrance and the motorcycles weren't available, but luckily enough, we found a local to take us through an entrance by his house and show us the Pink Sea, which wasn't actually pink. <laughs> The Pink Sea actually comes from the rain breaking down the salt molecules in the water as this sea has a very high salinity. There's microalgae that exist that produce beta carotene which one contributes to the salinity but also the colour. We obviously came off season and so whilst there was lots of fun sea foam there wasn't actually a pink sea to photograph as such. We didn't necessarily mind, well I didn't, because it was a beautiful landscape, very windy. But yeah, just a really cool landscape, seeing all the sea foam kind of fly away. It was a really great experience and I would definitely recommend if it's in season. <laughs> Next up, we have the Mud Volcano. This is a 20 minute drive from the Pink Sea, so it's perfectly convenient. I'd recommend going to the Pink Sea first if you're more worried about pictures before getting down and dirty in the mud. The legend behind El Volcán de Tatumo is that it was once a live active volcano until a priest sprinkled some holy water on it. Tickets were 20,000 COP each, so about four pound each, which is super affordable and obviously worth it. When you get to the top of the stairs, you have this incredible view to look upon. And people told me not to come to Colombia. Pre-COVID, all the reviews said that you had to queue for ages and you only got five minutes in and out of the mud bath. Lucky for us, we came during COVID and so we literally jumped straight in and managed to spend as long as we wanted in the mud. This is the weirdest feeling. You can't even sink. If I was to describe this, it'd be floating. You can't touch the bottom, you're just like yeah, suspended you're just in mud. I'm yeah. sitting right now with both knees up and yeah. I'm just floating. See? Mistake, I won. This is to try and demonstrate the buoyancy of this. <laughs> Lol. So after that stumble, we decided to go down the very steep stairs to the sea to get washed off. Be cautious, okay? Because you're covered in mud, it's slippy, it's steep, you get the deal. Now we're going to see if we can go and get cleaned up. I have also heard that they like to, you know, pull down your underwear and clean it, not in a sexual way, but just in a let's get the job done way. I don't want anyone to touch my vagina, quite frankly, so <laughs> I'm going to clean that area myself. 
during peak season you can expect to see ladies in the water ready to wash you down luckily we avoided that but if you do come here in the future make sure to bring a tip because they don't touch you up for free this experience was unlike anything I've ever done before, completely unique, very strangely buoyant and the view was absolutely incredible. I 1000% recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and the bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!